All right, welcome back to another Guild Wars 1 playthrough. We are in factions, but not for long because it's time to go to Nightfall. This is going to be the first episode of our Nightfall playthrough. I decided I'm going to start it off by taking Rogier, our Mesmer, Rogier Spellblade, over to Cantha in order to do so. Or sorry, Elona. In order to do so, I need to talk to Guardsman Linro down here to help a person named Cormier and the Sun Spears, because something's going on in Alona. Cool armor. Is that a player? Yeah, it's a player. Guardsman Linro. I guess I'm going to still keep running this horrible nuker build. Um, greetings. Cormier. Uh, I think that's the correct pronunciation. Bar Spear Marshal of the Illustrious Sun Spears. She's oh, she knows who I am. Interesting. Let's go talk to her. I'm probably gonna regret running this awful nuker build. So uh, we've been here. This Bejun Khan Pier. Not too long ago, we were arriving in Kantha. From prophecies, having finished the prophecies mission uh, campaign, now we're back here, coming full circle, but we are le you going here to leave Cantha. I need to weave through here. There she is, Cor Cormir, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna keep saying her name like that, and see what's going on. What is Nightfall? Where is Alona? Does he have a quest too? Let me talk to him real quick. What's Armian doing? Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, we can talk to... What? What's the point of this? So we could go to Wajun Bazaar to go home to Lion's Ark. Or just fast travel it. I wonder if that's an outdated thing where in order to travel back to Lion's Ark, you had to talk to him. That's interesting. Uh, let's talk to Cormir. I am Cormir. Uh, Spear Marshal of the Sun Spears. Darkness has befallen. Come to Kanta. Search for Kanta. Search for heroes. Gotcha. Uh, oh, she knows who I am. Officially, she calls my name. Alona Istan. That's what the name I was thinking. Not, I kept calling it Istani. It's Istan. Korna and Vabi. Oh, it's under attack by an evil has risen in Alona. That sounds familiar. Looking for heroes. Gotcha. I speak of Nightfall. That's the campaign name. Uh, I can sense it. If you are a caliber I seek, make haste. Your lands are being in peril. So she brought... It sounds like she brought the Nightfall to Kantha. That seems not cool. Why didn't she just stay in Alona? You know? Let's do it. Meteor shower. I'm going to cast one meteor shower and then I'm just going to firestorm nuke. I think this is a little more viable than trying to get triple triple meteor showers off. See, that's pretty decent nukage. Look at that. They're running away. I have no henchmen. I have zero henchmen. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> uh, that that's a fail. All right, let's go back. <laughs> I was like, I was like, why am I? What's going on here? Um, <laughs> that was sad. Uh, let's bring these people. This looks good. I want to bring ranged henchmen. Not a great start. Not a great start this episode. Let me speed this part up. Running back to Kormir. Okay, we're back. We, we brought back up. I bet she was wondering like, wow, this hero, he came alone. He must really... Must be really strong. Uh, no. I don't know what I thought. I guess I just thought I would get another chance to get henchmen. Or I just completely forgot. I don't know. Oops, I forgot to put fire attunement on. 
Ooh, we got a minion master. I forgot Sue, the... The, um... Necromancer has... Minions. That's very strong here. I kinda, yeah, I kind of like the triple firestorm more than the meteor shower. I think that's more viable, honestly. It was fun getting triple meteor showers, but as far as like with fast casting, I can actually spam firestorms pretty well. Of course, now, now I might need to do it. Let's do a meteor shower on that dude. And Echo is nice because it lasts 30 seconds, so you can precast it like this, and then you can use it when the t when the battle before the battle starts to get a full effect, full benefit. Wow, guys, back up, guys. Back up, back up, back up. Are you kidding me? Those guys hurt. I think they're running the same build I am. I saw a firestorm. I think one of those firestorms was from this wraith. Let's get the upper ground. The higher ground. Ah, I ran out of time. Yeah, that's not my meteor shower. That's their meteor shower. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Do this. That's gonna hit. That's gonna hit really hard. Nice damage. Knockdown. AOE knockdown. That's what we. That's what we live for. Holy cow! Why did that hurt so bad? hit me for like 200 200 damage all right two more we got to get that one and that one let's get this one first actually Oh, that's not my meteor shower. Dang it. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. When they get double meteor showers off, like staggered like that, you just can't even move. We get locked down. I wonder if that works for us. When I get a, uh, a Mesmer teammate, I'm going to run all teammates with this build. I'm going to just troll it up. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait for heroes actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna run some really crazy build. Okay. I was a huge help to my team. One more. This was this one's harder than I thought. Like, if I were an underleveled character trying to rush and get to Alona ASAP, like, this would be a really tough mission. There's the meteor shower. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Yeah, the their firestorm does, like, 40 damage to me. Are we going to wipe here? Oh my god. Let's see if I can finish them off. I don't think I can. Just me and Lo Shaw holding it down. That double dragon spell, man. Oh, we got the guardsmen here to help us. Take them out, guards. There we go. <laughs> it's just me now. Oh, this is horrible. All right. I think I can take him out from here. Yeah, he can't hit me from here. That was rough. Finish him off. There we go. We did it. Capture the Chaos Rift.
Well, I just had to make this one as hard as possible. I recommend bringing a fire mantra or mantra of flame here and some element ward of elemental resistance or something for your team. And maybe some knockdown resistance for this for this mission. Because that was rough. <laughs> he almost totally wiped on the first the first quest here. Great. Well, I guess that's a a preview of what's to come. Where's the music at? Is there no music in there it is. Okay, we're back. Let's go. Yeah, you already said all this. Yep, you already said all that. You have completed your business here in Kantha and wish to join the Sun Spears in the defense of Alona. I have a ship prepared to leave immediately. Are you ready to? Yes. Let's do it. Welcome to Nightfall. Is there going to be a cutscene? Here we go. and forgotten darkness. Night falls. The time of the five gods is at an end. Cool. Little look at some new enemies. And now we are in the famous Kam uh, Kamadan. Is that where we are? Yeah, Kamadan. Uh, Sphere Marshal Bendro, what do you got for me? Marshal Kormir is waiting for you in the plains of Jaren. I think that's how we join the Spears. On Spears. And then this one we actually have to train. Oh no, this is a mission. This is a quest we can get some heroes at, I think. Perhaps. Maybe. Very cool. Take that. And look, this is where all the population of the game is at. We finally made it. We had to go through prophecies. We had to go through factions. Now we finally joined the rest of the players in Guild Wars. So if you were probably a brand, brand new player, it might be best to start from Nightfall, even though it's not like the true beginning. Just because you would be able to get... You'd, you'd be able to see players in the game right away, and it would be more exciting that way. So if you're watching this video, you've never played Guild Wars, I think it's still on... Oh, that's to go to Eye of the North. I think it's still on sale. I picked up a uh, an account. I haven't even played on it yet. I just want to have it for future for the future uh maybe a future playthrough totally raw uh iron man type playthrough i might do that later but yeah if you've never played before this is a great opportunity to jump in um let's go ahead and get our first heroes oh there's some korean there why is there oh on the Korean, on the English server. Some really long, they allow from really long names on Korean servers. <laughs> it's such a long name. Oh. Funny. Okay, let's talk to, let's do battle preparations. 
and we can get three four heroes right off the bat this is sweet you answer the call while others remain in the darkness for that i and the entire world matter for that matter owe you uh, long forgotten evil malevolent knowledge referred to as nightfall by some War, Ma War Marshal Varesh, leader of the province of Kurna, has slipped into madness. She now worships an evil god named Abaddon, and her power grows every day. Soon her hunger for power will reach beyond Elona and threaten the lands of Cantha and Tyria. I need your assistance. Take these heroes and train them. Prepare them for war and pray to the five gods that uh, we have the strength and the will to overcome the evil that threatens us all. We got Kos, who's obviously a uh warrior we have duncoro duncoro <laughs> i'm not gonna okay i'm done uh who is looks up by his by his weapon you could be able to tell right away he is definitely a monk his weapons and next is talcora oh no melona meloni I can't remember her relationship with Koss. I think there's some family or some sort of relationship between them. I can't remember. She is kicked out of her family, babe, or her village, basically. She's obviously a dervish, which I have no skills for. And then we have Talcora, who is spoiled and pampered all her life. She's sick of it. She's She wants some adventure. She's obviously a monk as well. Perfect. We have two monk heroes that we can use. So I'm going to limit. I obviously have a lot of skills unlocked on this account. I'm going to do some limiting. I'm only going to allow myself to use skills from prophecies and factions since we've gone through those. I cannot use any skills in Nightfall until I unlock them. Uh, so that I guess that's that. Um, what's this guy doing? Oh, right. He gives us a bounty. Now we need to train. We need to go to the training area. I, I need to trim down some of these quests eventually. Where are we at? We are in Istan. So let me do battle preparations in Zaishin Elite. <laughs> There's the message. Want to buy ferry to docks and LA. So he's talking about a kind of exploit. He's obviously a brand new Nightfall character and he doesn't want to do all of the... This, this island is the starter island for Nightfall. He doesn't want to do all of that. He created a new character and immediately wants to take his character to uh, um, Lion's Ark, Arch, and um, or Caning. I guess that's where he wants to go. Yeah, he says Lion's Arch or Caning. Uh, that's kind of funny. People still do that. Who do we talk to next? Man trading. Do I have to do that? Let's just do battle preparations. Um. Yeah, I have to do command training, I guess. Really? Complete command trading, yeah. So let's do that. Let's get our heroes up. Let's go ahead and s equip our... Oh, I need to choose between them. Let's have just one healer for this. Let's have Meloni. All right, I have some weapons for you guys. Koss, you can use Sakai's sword. I'm going to toss that. I can't even do anything with it. And you can use Jeffers bulwark if you didn't watch the episode where i collected both of these weapons uh go back and watch it it's an awesome way to farm these weapons of 100 percent success rate if you want these green weapons look for my noob proof farming video part two it's it's worth it i promise not a bad shield though yeah it's bad get out of here so he's going to use max damage. Do I have any other stuff? I have these. What are these? Oh, they give me some starter stuff. Uh, He can use this. 
And Maloney can use this. It gives me some starter weapons. That's interesting. I don't need Koss's stuff. And let's go ahead and equip Alcora then. With her items. Double check. I'm throwing the right one away. Yeah. There go. And I guess I guess I can use Maloney, even though I I technically am not going to be allowed to use any skills because they're all going to be Nightfall. But let's not use Maloney right now. Let's use Dunkoro and Alcora and Koss. So for Koss, obviously I have access to lots of skills. I'm going to set it to Campaign. And I'm only going to be allowed to use Core. Uh, prophecies and factions. Let's give him Dragon Slash since we captured that before. And I'm going to keep all this the same. I kind of want to give him Gash. But that's that's way too much adrenaline. So I don't use... Let's use Sever Artery. That's a good one. He needs some sort of uh, energy gain. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. Hold on. All right. I spent some time tinkering with their builds. Probably gonna end up changing them later, but this is what I got according to skills that I should have acquired in prophecies or factions. I'm using the dragon slash that I picked up a couple episodes back, as well as the factions healing uh, elites that I picked up. A little while back since Taukora's using divine favor I gave her blessed light and I think running two healers is probably overkill right now so I'm giving her making her like a smite heal support and then Dunkoro is just full-on heal uh, obviously this is gonna be pretty easy because this is training but just getting getting into the swing of having heroes I got rid of my horrible fire nuker build. That was embarrassing. I just went for a migraine illusion um, domination hybrid build. Should be good. And I want to switch to my illusion set. Now that I'm in Nightfall also, I think hopefully I can find an inscription to put in this shield. I think inscriptions came out during Nightfall, so... Finally, I can get that fully upgraded. I'm not sure why they made this quest mandatory. I guess they just assumed people coming from factions or prophecies would need to train and get used to heroes, but it's a little bit tedious at this point. I mean, this is a really easy training mission, training quest. That's why it's only like 250 experience. Land training. We're ready. Basically, you just have to move them to these little command areas. I don't even know how many other missions have this kind of like domination mode setting, but I think there's one here, and I think there's one in. I think there's a training center in Eye of the North as well, because. Because sometimes for players coming from factions or prophecies, you might choose to go to Eye of the North instead of Nightfall. And you can pick up some heroes there as well. And you need to go through the same training there. A little bit tedious, but what are you going to do? We captured that one. And we move to the next one. Okay, so that's one, that's two, that's three. Cool thing now, I can go back and do some of those hard mode missions or to get the bonus that I missed before because I can actually command individual heroes now. Whoops. I'm going to split cost by himself. 
and Talcor and Donkoro should be fine. They're level two, so come on. See how Koss is doing. I gave Koss a swords, swordsmanship, swords, swordsmanship build, and he's using some shouts as well. Why is he attacking me? That's interesting. <laughs> That's so weird. That's a first. I've never been attacked in this before. Okay, so they're all at three. And this should be it. Finish the mission. Oh, interesting. If I already flag the individual heroes, and if I, if I give them the full... Oh, that one's going down. I need to cancel all. <laughs> I've got every flag out now. So the uh, individual hero supersedes the party flag. All right, we finished that. Now we can go talk to me if you need more help. I think we finished. We can talk to Devad back in Estan. No? Do I need to run all the way back? Hmm. Let me speed this up real quick. Okay. So I'm back talking to this person. Oh, wait. Is this is who I need to talk to. That's, that could be dangerous if you're just focusing on the exclamation marks. I wonder if I had, if I had left this area, would I have had to do that training again? Okay, now we can go back and we can talk to Cormier. Battle preparations are finished. So, oh no. Who do we talk to? Estelon Puba. I guess on the way to doing this, we can do Zaishin Elite. And we can pick up another pick up another hero. So so far we've got four plus Mox. I'm not planning on using Mox until I get to Eye of the North though, because I shouldn't really have him yet anyway. Yeah, I added it time. So now we go to the Sunspear area, but on the way, yeah, here we get to choose. So in, if I remember correctly, I can choose between these two Acolytes. One is a Ranger and one is a Elementalist, right? Susuke. What? Oh, I have to fight them for Oops, wrong button. There we go. Oh, cutscene. Jin, acolyte Jin. What is it, Sosuke? What do you think? Of what? That Sun Spear leader, of course. Nice moves. Has potential. That's it? That's enough. Something is going on here in Aloma. I can feel it in my bones. This sun sphere is going to be a big part of it. If you say so, I am just looking for someone to learn from. It is the Zaishan way. There's nothing about the Zaishan way that says we can't be enthusiastic about what we do. Okay. Field General Hayao will allow the sun sphere to train one of us. I hope I am chosen. I hope so too. Thank you. Then I won't have to listen to you jabbering on. What did you just say? I had no idea there was a cutscene for those two heroes, Sas uh, Sosuke and Jin. I don't even remember skipping it. I don't even remember watching it even for the first time. That's that's crazy. Uh, how do I not remember that? Uh, so well done. I get to choose one now. I'm going to choose Sosuke. He was a little bit enthusiastic about joining us. Also, generally... I I think rangers are just not that useful. Um, sorry to everyone in the chat. They're fun. They're just not useful. Uh, yeah. I'm going to get rid of them. And I can get... Oh, I have to do another quest. Okay. Sure, I can do that. 
You know, I just realized though, speaking of ranger, I should probably make all of them ranger secondaries and um, have a pet just to have them get it up to level 20 while I'm in these low level areas. That might be something to invest in later. Do a little fun. What mission now? Oh, I need to travel with Sosuke. I can't go there yet. Let's just do battle preparations first. Uh, that's why I called it Istani. I kept calling Istan Istani because that's the adjective for Istani people. Impressive warthog. I think, oh, I just remembered. I think I can get some sun spear skills here. If I'm not mistaken. Once we get some levels in our sun spear rank, that'll be cool. And I can get hero skills. I can get skills just for my heroes. Oops. Who do I talk to? Kuba. Isn't that the name of the warthog from Lion King? Oh, that's Pumba. Here you handled command training. Speak to me again when you're ready. Upcoming battle. Okay. By the five gods, this dawn shall need see a new champion. So this is the primary quest, I guess. You must secure champion's dawn. Ormir has gone ahead to help prepare for the assault. Our main force is already committed to the upcoming war. Report to elite scout Zusash. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch out Alcora. Oh. Huh? Oh, I I guess I don't have Sosuke yet. I have to bond with Sosuke. Ew. <laughs> I don't know why he reacted that way. Um, let's bring Alcora back. Let's talk to this guy. Can we get anything yet? Can I use can I use my own skill points to learn these skills? For one platinum, I can convert one of your skill points into a hero skill point. No thanks. How about Sun Spear rank? Do I have any Sun Spear rank yet? I do not. Oh, I do. Almost. I got 30 points. So I'll wait on that. Let's go ahead and do these quests really quick. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to make Koss a ranger. Ranger, Ranger like this. I'm in a low level area, so I'm just going to bring Farm Pet. I really, yeah, I'll be able to drop Charm Pet later, actually. Isn't Words of Comfort a Nightfall ability? Oh, I guess I get some Nightfall skills. What's it called? Words of Comfort. Oh, so it gives you a one Nightfall skill off the, at the start of the game. That's cool. That's good to know. Um, What are we doing here? What am I looking for? Comfort Charm Animal. I'll remove this you know you got to go full to pet team you just got to do it and while we're at it i'm gonna get i'm gonna bring back my pet because he's not even level 20 yet hold on okay good to go yeah let's get them let's get them some pets why why does he not have his out They're gonna have a, I'm gonna have a team. I should give them uh different animals, right? So I can at least have the advantage of turning in level 20 animals. Um, okay, what are we doing now? 
we're talking to the curing champions Don or let's get Sosuke first I guess I think that's no champions Don's first all right let's go 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 call out whenever you see an animal to tame Whoops. Get my sword out. Or daggers out. Yeah, since I'm low level, I might as well make it interesting, so. Running these fun builds is gonna do that. Oh, well, it's closer than I thought. Still rocking the green daggers that I got way back from my first noob proof farming method. I'm, I'm excited to try and get that work doing some more um, green farms here in Nightfall. There's a ton of green items in Nightfall, I think. If I remember correctly. I'll try and get like a green uh, domination set. Get him, tiger. Ooh. Iron ingots. Here. Go. Uh, securing Dawn champions on a high. Talk to the any sons for your scout to receive a bounty. Wait. By helping out with the local wildlife problems, you also gain ranks within the sons for Oh, right. Okay. If you are too experienced, you may not receive the bounty for that area. Yes, we have the reports. Kormir... Pre briefed us about the situation and we await your further orders da, 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 da. you will have such a bounty during these upcoming battle battles so try to kill as many corsairs as possible after you reach champions done or is done okay. wait actually i think i think i need to bring in a, a signet of capture i think there's an elite skill i can capture up here from what i remember so now we're doing missions for our content. So I believe I will be up against like level 20 enemies or at least higher level enemies. We shall see. Ormir explained to me she's waiting for you the clips of Dojo to Finn Champions Don. Yeah, this one might be tough. Land of Heroes. Okay, so this is a kind of a mission. You know what? Now I'm a little bit scared about my team's build. They don't have pets yet. Uh, what should I do? Okay, let's let's switch it back. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, I changed my skills again. And uh, I brought a signet of capture because I remember there's some there's some bosses here. And I'm going to bring a dervish. Hopefully we can get a dervish elite. And then I'll be able to use that for Melona. Since I have no legal skills I can use for her right now. She's kind of useless hero for me right now. Let's do this. I think we get access to... Kormir is going to assist us, and then we're going to have some bounties as well. Is there a is there a blessing here if I kneel? Or is that only factions? No. Okay. Logger, Finder, Refinder, and Bosun. See what it, okay, that's the monk. The bosun is the monk. He's a smiting. Interesting. Smiting monk. So Koss is gonna be our main damage dealer. He should be pretty good at it. 
Got that double adrenaline ga gain, perfect for his dragon slash. Yeah, should be okay. And the shield is actually going to be perfect because there's a lot of um, piercing damage from the paragons and rangers here. Oh, I like his setup actually. Oops. Nice. Phalanx, Oppressor, and Scribe. Oppressor must be Necromancer. Scribe is probably Elementalist, I'm guessing. Yep. Interrupted that. Yeah, so it's pretty important to bring some signet of captures here i think okay here's our first boss it is oh no it's not a boss i thought i saw a name that was weird drain enchantment's really good because uh in nightfall because you're gonna be going up against dervish and Dervish used tons of enchantments. So you can never really have too much enchantment removal, I think. It'll be nice when we find another Mesmer hero. I've got tons of Mesmer skills. Once I get a Mesmer hero, it's going to be pretty overpowered. Oh, there he is. Midshipman Viridun. Oh. Can't. There's no point of bringing in interrupts. I do it every time. Thinking, oh yeah, it's extra damage. I do like Unnatural Signet. Even though I'm not, I'm only running two domination skills. Unnatural Signet is pretty good. It's good for energy management. It is free and it, it does some decent AoE damage. I mean, 85 damage for 10 second cooldown and no mana cost is pretty good. Okay, need to be careful not to over. There's another boss here. Insign. Gahan. I'm not gonna rush in. I'm gonna try and weed out some of these enemies. Here we go. Hopefully, I can get him by himself. Good, it got the interrupt. Take them out. Need to keep. If I can keep ineptitude on him, should be fine. He does load the damage though. He's level 18. He's got vow of strength. I need to keep taking it out. There we go. Alcora got a level up. That's perfect. And we got a dervish elite skill. Vow of strength. Whenever you attack with a foe with your scythe, you deal 10 slashing damage to all adjacent foes. So it's an AoE. Very good, very good. Let's clean up. Oh, that's that's the medic monk. Berserker is a dervish. Priest. Oh, 
nice, nice meteor. Pick up the phalanx. I don't want to over aggro here. Bowman, Bowman, guard. Okay. One, I think it's just landing point one and landing point two. I don't think there's a third, is there? I think there's a lot of enemies. If I can get a good AoE here, though. Nice. I got the medic. Bam, ineptitude. Oh, that music kicks in. Pretty loud. <laughs> Music goes hard in Nightfall. All right, let's let's put the points in. Um, costs and get some more strength. That's good. That's good. Oh, there's one more. Okay, that probably means there's one more boss. I wonder what it is. Watch it be a Mesmer boss. That would be perfect. But honestly, I feel like I have the most powerful Mesmer elites already. Look out, it's another ranger. Okay. This should be the last one. Okay, I got an interrupt. The the only one and only interrupt of this video. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's that one. What? Is there a fourth? It just says seize the coarser landing points. Huh. I guess there's another one. At least one more. Oh, I'm missing storyline, I guess. Varish's plans threaten not only Alona. That is the fate Varish Osha Osa has planned for the world. We must defeat her allies and we must take the battle to Korna. Okay. Lieutenant M Marik. So it's a it's a paragon. What's he using? I don't know. I think I think I did the the good or the right thing getting the dervish elite because as far as I remember there isn't a paragon hero until much later Crippling Anthem. Oh, that's not a bad one. Makes all allies at next attack. Cause crippling. That kind of skill would be really good to have for me running a fragility build, actually. Spamming, like, burning and crippling and stuff. It's good to think about in the future. That guy got blown up. Oh, these guys are only level 10. 
That's good. Okay. At least one more. <laughs> all that remain now are the Corsair camps. Oh, okay. So we got all of those done. Any more boss? Ah, rent. What is he? Looks like a warrior. Be careful here. Oh, they're all low level. There he is. He using. You're all alone. If target foe isn't near an ally, that foe suffers from crippling it and weakness. Yeah, keep keep him with ineptitude on. Keep him blinded. I think between Koss and I, we do plenty of damage. But going double healer was actually a good move. Jeez. Didn't mean to aggro these guys. It's getting pretty tough, even though they're all level 9 and 10. Done. No enchantments. I'm relying a little bit too much on drain enchantment. I thought there'd be a lot more to get rid of. Even with this medic, not many of them. Or camp capture. I think this is the last one. Captain Shenar. Looks like another dervish, maybe? Or elementalist? Yeah, it's got an. Oh, it's a monk. Hmm. That would have been nice. Ah, oh, we aggroed him. Fine. Should be okay, because just because he's even though he's a monk, it just means he's not they're not gonna have much damage now. We should be able to out damage his heals. Okay, leave the boss for last. Balthazar's Pendulum. That's some kind of knockdown. I think it's a smiting smiting skill, so I'm I'm pretty glad I didn't capture that. Like I don't think it's as good as Ray of Judgment. Next time target foe something, he's knocked down. Alright, we did it. This quest, I believe, is only available for foreigners to Nightfall, so. Land of Heroes. That's how you do it, people. We officially made our, uh, our impact. First impact into Nightfall. As a Prophecies player, we, can't, we finished all the Prophecies, finished all the factions. This is the first episode of Nightfall. And hope you guys enjoyed it. And there's going to be more to come, obviously, because we got to finish the Nightfall uh, campaign. And then after that, we're going to go on to Eye of the North. So we got, we got a lot of content left that we haven't gone through. Um, let's go ahead and turn this in. And I should be able to get some PvE skills before I finish this episode. Go. Um. Oh no, I've got one more quest to do. I'll, I'll start that quest next episode. This, this one's gotten kind of long. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. I'm going to finish doing a few more of these uh, uh, foreigner quests. And then eventually I'm going to go back and do all of the Istan Island as it would have been done with a Nightfall only character. So stay tuned for that. There's a lot of content to be shown 
in the nightfall campaign it's massive it's huge i think it's at least as long or slightly shorter than prophecies but the difficulty ramps way up so kind of it i i think it probably is probably longer than prophecies a lot of stuff to look forward to hope you guys enjoy it i already said that bye